Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on Lee Chess, and I just got paired up playing now a 15-2 game. Let's try e4 for a start. Alright, playing against the Sicilian. Okay, let's go knight f3. Hmm. I think I might want to try to build in the center, c3, d4. Could enter uh, positional grounds. Um, enter c3, d5, takes, takes, d4. And uh, let's see, so we could play it like that, where I'm playing against, let's say, an isolated uh, queen pawn. I'm going to shoot for that. So I'm expecting d5. I'll take, and then they'll recapture, have a pawn duo, and then I'll strike at it. Or this. <laughs> okay. Um, so e5, grab some space, kick the knight around a little bit, and then still follow through with d4. Okay. Any other options? This is uh, a bit too tame. And, yeah, I mean, this is the one drawback with c3. I'm a bit limited on uh, the move knight to f6 with my replies. I don't have a convenient move to defend, so let's grab some space, do so with tempo. And let's follow through d4 it is. Now on captures, I'm not sure how to recapture just yet. Uh, I may want to take with the queen. I know it does lose time. Um, hmm. This is probably correct, but I'm just considering queen takes and on knight c6 have the queen reside on e4 or maybe g4. Exerting pressure here. I'm not sure how much of a bother that would really be to black. I think I've had this position before playing on the white side. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's recapture with the pawn. Vacate this square for my queen knight. And, uh, I'll just go from here. So I'm not sure if I should play to c4 or here. Okay. I was expecting something more along the lines of knight c6 or a quick challenge of this pawn. Hmm. I feel like knight c3 would be a good move. Knight c3, bishop b7. I don't know. Uh, on this move here, knight b4, is that really a bother? I could play here. So now. Hmm. This is a weak square, clearly. I don't have a pawn around that could control d5 from this point on. Unless this guy turns into a e pawn. So candidate moves knight c3, bishop d3. It's probably a good idea to point at this square, since f6 is taken away. Uh, the best defensive square for the knight. He's no longer around to defend the king's side, so probably bishop here. Um, maybe I'm not so quick to welcome this kind of exchange. Maybe I avoid exchanges, work with this space advantage. Let's, uh, I think the, I, I think I know where my bishop belongs. Bishop d3. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with bishop d3. I may want to invest a, a move here with a3. Stop knight b4 ideas. Uh, I'm not so... Hmm, maybe this is even I, an idea. Exchanging light square bishops, that'll make the presence of a knight on the d5 square quite good. Um, but... With uh, maybe another way to even view it. Okay, I wasn't expecting. I was not expecting that. Another way to view it is uh, 
If the light square bishops are exchanged, my knight on f3 is a pretty stable piece. Don't have to worry of him getting captured by the bishop. And he'll be a, a good uh, piece there, of course, to secure my e5 pawn to uh, keep the space advantage. So probably bishop d2, right? There is no knight here in between or anything like that. Yeah, let's go with that. I think this is helping me out to develop some, no? Queen or knight? Probably the queen. Stop knight f4. I played that very quick. Hmm. Okay. What would they do if I played here? Yeah, suppose I do that, and my intention is to give up the bishop, play knight c3, and castle queenside. Huh. This is a big, this is an important moment already, I think. Just nine moves in. Big decision. Bishop e4, bishop b7, knight here. And uh, they'll, they'll end up being saddled with uh, double isolated d pawns. They could exchange one of them off, but that's not a welcome sight for black. To have this e pawn converted to a d file. Or the d file. Bishop b4, knight here, I give this knight a kick immediately. Instead of taking the rook, I probably could take the rook, but... Uh, I still wonder about bishop here. Let's say castles. I take the knight. Play knight c3. Queenside castle, king b1. Still playing with the space advantage. Huh. Bishop e4, bishop b7, knight c3. They can't maintain this knight. A bishop on b7 is unprotected. I think taking the bishop is uh, helping them to replenish or reinforce their sh uh, strength over uh, d5. I don't think that this is an inconvenience to uh, force the knight to the edge. I know I'm devoting a lot of time to these first... Uh, these first handful of moves here, but uh, I believe this is already a, a critical moment in the game. Um, also, what am I talking about, bishop e4, knight here, a3? How about queen takes knight? <laughs> I'm going to give this a shot. Seems interesting. So let's see how they approach this. Uh, we're maybe soon to have a, an imbalance struck in the position, bishop for knight exchange. I'll maybe try to show that he's a bad piece, but of, he, he's of course, uh, if we go for this line with black castling and me capturing, he certainly has a say in the position. He's preventing kingside castling, and we're going in the direction of not only a minor piece imbalance, but also a king position imbalance, opposite sides castling. So let's see what he comes up with. I don't think there are uh, so many options. Uh, knight c6 might be a move, actually. Knight c6. Um, knight c6, bishop takes knight. Knight c3, knight b4, castles, still. Hmm. Maybe I don't take the knight. Huh. Bishop takes knight, knight c3, knight b4. Bishop takes knight, pawn to x, knight c3, knight b4, castles. There's a check on d3, but I just move out of the way. 
Huh. I may have to watch over the c4 square if I'm castling queenside from knight a5 into here. Uh, let's give this a shot. So I better be really quick to get my king uh, castled here. And they have this pawn to tend to at some point. Knight b4 defends it. I believe that, that this just is a check if they go in this direction. I'm actually a slightly, ever so slightly, ahead in development, so what am I missing? Hmm. Okay, I think I see what I'm missing. Queenside Castle? Queenside Castle. Uh-oh. I think I miscalculated. I think this is uh, stronger than I expected. There's Bishop D3. Queenside Castle, Rook C8. Hmm. Queenside Castle, Rook C8. A3. Hmm. I don't have too many choices here. Queenside Castle, Rook C8, A3. There is Knight A2. King B1. Uh, I might have to play that position. Queenside Castle, Rook C8, A3, Knight D3, King B1. Let's try it. Rook c8, king b1, bishop d3 is a pain. On king a1, there's knight c2, and then I'm running into a discovered checks. Huh. Let's see what black does. Expecting rook c8. I don't think knight, c, knight d3 is correct. I'm uh, fully developed, but of course my king is on the only open file, so this isn't so much fun. They are gaining tempies. Okay, I think a3 is what I need to do. There is knight a2, but I end up with uh, uh, my b-pawn on the c-file. Hmm. a3... Knight d3, king b1, I don't think is a bother still. Okay, let's try it. Okay. I'm expecting knight a2 and then um, imposing a, a structural defect on my castled position, so... Yeah, I don't think that this is uh, any better for me. It'd be interesting to see what the computer is computer evaluation is around this point. It's tough for them to open up the B file, you know. They'd need their bishop to move and get this stuff going. So yeah, they're going for this. Here we are. Their queen is getting active, but queen B2. King B2. Hmm. This seems correct. King B2, maybe even Queen here. Or Rook to E1. Hmm. This maybe was an idea, but uh, Rook C4, that's going to be a great bother. Hmm. I'm not better in this position. No way. 
They're going to be generating stuff against my king very, very quick. Hmm. Yeah, very, very quick. Okay, how to play through a tough position. And this is definitely one. Hmm. They're going to avoid a queen exchange on queen g5. Queen here to here, and then going in on the light squares, which are absolutely crushed. Bishop here, infiltrating on b3. Hmm. I'm not sure what I could do here to put up some resistance. Let's uh let's play here for starters. I guess. On rook c4 I have knight here at least to give him a kick. I have to start playing faster. Hmm. If the queen goes too far away, there's also knight g5. That was another idea I had with this move. Only one of the two pieces, only the rook or bishop, can really pivot on c4. Okay, going with that. I have queen a4. Don't know what that really does, though. Hmm. Hmm. Queen a4, bishop c4. I gotta make some faster moves here. Let's try that. No, I just realized I could get uh, crushed with bishop to e2. My structure is terrible. Hmm. Queen side and king side. Bishop e2, rook c1. This is a very convenient reply. I was only looking at bishop c4. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, this is busted. Black plays well. Maybe doesn't even have to play so well from this position. It kind of plays itself out. Very easy moves for black to make now. Working against this structure, this backward pawn. This is, uh, might regard it as a bad bishop, but in this position it's just fantastic. Bad bishop, just because of a fixed pawn on this square. Really not so bad, actually. <laughs> um... So let's see how black punishes me for my poor decisions. That's a start. There's rook c4 as well. I'm probably too, uh, it's probably too crazy to grab that a pawn. He's poison. So the queen could just pinpoint uh, all these weak pawns over here. They're not taking that guy out. Hmm. Okay. It's a little bit surprising. Huh. Queen b4, queen b4, queen e6. Knight g5, it's just one move threat stuff. Knight d2, queen g5. All right, I'm going to play here and try to defend uh, my ugly uh, kingside structure, my soon-to-be ugly kingside structure if they take my knight with this. And, uh, yeah, basically I'm trying to crawl up into a ball. Rook c2, rook here. Um, I basically cannot defend my h-pawn. Queen h4 is a move, but maybe I take here at some point and start generating some threats. I feel like it's not as bad now with uh, the minor pieces off. Huh. 
Queen B5. Hmm. That seems correct. I'm hitting D5. And after A4, I wonder how you dislodge my queen. Maybe there's an idea of this to dislodge the queen, but if I get in A4, she's secure. But first things first, this is a very important pawn for them to hang on to. And they're not hanging on to it. I wonder why not. Probably have to defend like this. Let's make a quick move. I say that because he already has a responsibility, so I don't want to overload a piece with this. Deflection stuff, rook takes here, rook takes, and queen here, hitting an unprotected rook. Hmm. Isn't this pawn dropping? Oh boy. Do they misplay it? Queen takes d5. This is a super valuable pawn, no? Huh, is a4 first? No, let's take this pawn. A centralized queen in this uh, heavy piece ending? This has to be excellent. Now I actually feel a little bit more comfortable. That's not a happy move for them to play. Rook c2. Um, centralize my queen a little bit more. It might be ideas of f4, rook h1, h7 stuff. I might try b5, b5, b4, b5, rook c2. Then at least I'm coordinated very well. Let's make a quick move. If they try to support it, I could take once and then push. If the queen tries to get back here, I have rook e1 stuff. So much for rook h1. This is my idea, given time. f4, f5. Never want to push this, I don't think. Allowing rook c4. Dislodging my queen. How do they put more pressure on this pawn? Can they? Queen here stops f4. Okay, yeah, this game probably should have already been over with a black win, but I wonder what it would be saying right around here. I think I need to keep pushing. Yeah, let's push. Cut out this diagonal. Okay. Queen there, huh? Alright, I think I need to... Uh... Go fast. Let's do this. B4. Take like this. Hmm. We'll see. 20 seconds is not a lot, but I had a lot to think about. Let's see. Yeah, I think I need to welcome some exchanges, actually. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm busted. There's a double check coming. Hmm. Back rank stuff, maybe? Okay. Not sure how this is being held somehow. Barely. F5 and then push, but on G6, I'm not sure. Queen C4. 
queen c4 is a killer if I allow that. Trying to hide behind this pawn. Um, allowing queen c4 check. Let's see how they uh, finish this one off here. Um, yeah. This takes forever to get in. f5 and e6. I play g6. I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, and they're going to be playing a2 soon, I guess. Or that. I don't have an answer. Actually, I'm down on time, but this was completely busted. Okay, let's uh, go into the analysis board and uh, see how I could have played the opening better. Yeah, this is a loss on time, but uh, time aside, it was just a lost position, of course naked king position. Um, very poor structure. I didn't uh, calculate that well with the knight coming into b4. So let's see where we are here. So right around, yeah, after knight b4, I had to do something different. I didn't get the right continuation, that right idea. Instead of... Uh, well, we'll see what I played. I played Queenside Castle, and they're calling that a mistake. So what was my other option? Are they wanting me to play a3 there? We'll see. So that's where there's the... It's just the wrong decision to Queenside Castle, I guess, in that, at, from that point. And then it's um, not quite a pawn disadvantage, but pretty close to it. And then it got back up to around even after b5. It's the feeling I had, but then, um, let me scroll up a little bit. That is the initial feeling I had, that it started to even out a little bit. But when that queen transfer came in and uh, b4 was in, that's when it was just busted. It opened up and just everything was too easy for black. Um, yeah, as you're seeing here, negative 4, negative 5, etc. But uh, yeah, well, let's have a quick look here at these... Uh, these points here around move 12 and let's see how I could have maybe done better in that difficult position with just the heavy piece ending move 26 so let's see what kind of suggestions it's throwing out here see what we could take away from this one um, so right here instead of castle the best move was knight b5 whoa so I castled in this position, and this move here, I considered not at all. Wow. Wow, what a move that is. Knight b5. Knight c2, queen takes, bishop takes, queen there. Hitting the bishop, and then I'm able to castle. Mm, actually, not so easily. What would I have done on this? Well, they can't castle as easily either. This look, What an interesting this position would have been if I had spotted that uh, tactical, that uh, knight b5 move. Well, it certainly had to be really accurate here instead of the queen queenside castle. Bishop stops kingside castling. The queen stops kingside castling for black. Let's play it out a little bit more. Queen exchange I would have been happy with. For sure. Yeah, I definitely would have liked this position here. <laughs> Any position but the one I had in the game. But uh, I guess, yeah, the short story, knight to b5, very important move to go forward with, clearly. Um, my opponent did well to uh, come up with that continuation where, you know, if I if I have this structure, an a-b structure, for my king side, for my king's residence, I should say, it should be fine. Um, I know I have to ex take an additional move to get off of this open file, but, you know, the B-pawn converted to a C-pawn. There's split. There's holes then on the A and C file. 
and on top of that there's a ready-made target. This is where the rook already wants to go and there's already play against the pawn who's then backwards on the C file. So knight to b5 was pretty much they're chalking that one up as a mistake. These are the stats here, inaccuracies, mistakes, blunders for both of us. Okay. Uh, so queenside castle, rook c8, a3, knight a2. Yep. It likes these moves. Uh, doesn't have any great su suggestions here. Uh, this, I, I was actually a bit surprised that there wasn't uh, another suggestion. I, I thought maybe keeping the bishop around. Mm, although, yeah, I don't know. Probably better to uh, do it how black did, damaging uh, my structure on uh, the king side. So, hmm, right around here, it's uh, still black advantage here, around a half pawn, not quite. Evening out a little bit, b5, rook c to c2, okay, this was another mistake. The best move was f4. Hmm, f4 still trying to get in this move that I uh, was referencing f4 and then on b4 maybe I'm still able to come over here pawn takes I just got out of the way hmm yeah I guess I should have uh, done that huh uh, a bit too defensive rook c to c2 just trying to overprotect stuff I was trying to prepare for b4 and have things coordinated uh, as it stands right now with the rook on c1, he's powerless from captures, so rook takes c1. But following through with that f4 move, queen h5, f5, b4, this is still computer line. <laughs> it wants to play c4, I didn't, uh, I didn't see this idea. Can't take twice because of back rank mates. Only, you know, here's another thing I'm noticing. Only until it got towards the end of the game, like, and by the end of the game, I mean, like, right around this point. Only around this point did I start considering, um, maybe I could get some back rank stuff. Um, but my mentality probably even should have been thinking about that stuff for, for the whole game, actually. You know, this, especially with the... The heavy this heavy piece ending alone. Um, ideas like this should have been running through my mind, and they weren't. Now, I'm not saying that this would have been helpful. Um, I'm just trying to highlight uh, how I could have maybe better uh, been thinking through the positions, at least keeping that in mind. Um, this is this right here is uh, what brought that to my attention. The C4 move. Not, not even seeing that this queen position had the a8 square in mind. Or, uh, you know, I wasn't even viewing it like uh, the rook on c8 is a restricted piece. He's responsible for securing uh, the back rank mate stuff until black invests a flight square move. Anyhow, uh, Still following through with this variation. C4, queen there. Rook e3, and then a4, keeping it closed. They could have taken that too, no? Take here. I wonder what uh, the best move would have been. Maybe just recapture. Hide behind the pawn. Uh, there's still another pawn over here to hide behind. Probably just recapture. But uh, yeah, still falling through with the computer line. Queen there, f6. Still turns out to be quite the race here. Difficult, to, I'm still the defending side, and <laughs> that's an interest. This is a very interesting uh, position. This uh, locked pawn structure, these rooks are a bit out of play. They have a passed pawn. Very interesting position this is. The I guess the assessment is right around even. Okay.
Instead, I crawled up into a ball. <laughs> Rook C to C2. I didn't go forward with an active plan. And I just got rolled over. F4, queen B6. Queen D3. B4, and it's just a downhill. Uh, yeah, it's just downhill from here. Rook takes, pawn takes, king a2, yeah, minus 2. And there's no save here. Just worse and worse. And again, I lost on time here, but uh, as you can see, minus 8. Objectively busted. But, uh, yeah, um, what could I have... Uh, clearly there's uh, some things that I'm taking away from this. I thought my idea with this was uh, was fine. This idea to go forward with giving up the bishop and castling queenside. Um, but what I needed to be calculating here, this was a very important point, I needed to play knight to b5. Um, with castles, I this is what I wanted to do. King to b1, but bishop here. And uh, if you want to see a cool mate, here it is. King c1, knight takes a2, game over. This knight's pinned. So, and if I go here, then I'm running into discoveries. Um, yeah, oh, I wonder what the knight move would be in this position. Oh, there could even be maybe the bishop backing up, or not quite sure. At the very least, if black wanted a perpetual, they could do that. But uh, yeah, I didn't see uh, I didn't see this knight a2 move for when the rook was on c8, and I certainly didn't even consider not at all this knight b5 move. Uh, and that wouldn't have been the first time either that I overlooked the b4. I think in the in the beginning I was uh, pointing out if bishop here, knight here, I play a3. I was kind of blind at least for a little bit, to this queen b4 move, and that she's observing b4. But uh, anyhow, yeah, it was very important that I saw knight b5. I didn't, and my, oppon my opponent punished me uh, very well. So anyhow, um, as usual, uh, feel free to leave any comments uh, in the comments section below to this video, and as usual, I hope you got something out of it. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.